Some experts say the attempt on Trump's life shows how uncivil the political climate has been for some time. Tonight, WRTV's Jessica Grunling speaks with Hoosiers about how an act of violence like this impacts the way they feel leading up to a presidential election and beyond. We just enjoy life and have a lot of fun. Walk into Oasis Diner in Plainfield. We got different opinions about things. You'll find Gene Pritchard and his crew. Not enough to separate our friendship. A decades long friendship just might include talking politics over lunch. We asked them how they felt following the attempted assassination of Donald Trump on Saturday. I was shocked. I'm very happy that. Uh, he wasn't injured more seriously. Pritchard is 81 years old. He has lived through a lot of history. I want peace and harmony in America. That's all. Countries right now is at a turning point. Denny Scott enjoys his lunch down the street. Somehow you need to get the left and the right to listen to other sides and make a decision. As people head to the polls this fall, both hope it comes with educated and peaceful decisions. It's going to really take a lot of uh, deep thought and work from our citizens of America to reach that point again because we've been divided for years and uh, it's sad there but I'm hoping someday we get back together. Hopefully they do the election and there's a, everybody's legitimate and everybody's doing the right things and we pick the right president whoever it is. In Plainfield, Jessica Grunling, WRTV. Well, many people we spoke with today didn't wish to speak on camera, but say they believe Saturday's incident will push more people to the polls. The events of this weekend have led to an increased call for civility in a divided nation. It's a conversation one Carmel City Councilor says he has been having with neighbors since January. Jeff Morrell noticed the tense nature of local politics in the last local election cycle, and that included a heated Carmel mayoral race. He hopes tensions will calm before November's election. If we disagreed on an issue, then you must be against everything I'm for, and so therefore we can't even talk about things anymore. So I'm trying to bring that together. Our group is pushing a concept that civility is a choice, and in Carmel, we want to cultivate a culture, a community where civility is the first choice, that we will start operating and thinking about and being examples to our children of the way to be civil. Morell is working on scheduling more civility workshops. Learn more about them by visiting this story at WRTV.com. ABC News has coverage of the investigation into the attempted assassination of former President Trump, plus more about Trump's selection of J.D. Vance as his running mate at the start of the Republican National Convention. It's all coming up on World News Tonight with David Muir. That's next at 630 right here on WRTV.